I'm Tommy Bennett, president of the Denver branch, NAACP, and I'm glad to be here today to talk about the civil rights of Danville. I started at the age of 15, and I worked in the office of attorney Ruth Harvey Charity. And I was just an office assistant, and then I started doing voter registration. I started helping with campaigns. And the next thing I knew, I was in Chicago on staff with Congressman Jesse Jackson, Jr. I was working in Charlotte with Mayor Harvey Gant. And I was just, got calls from all over the world to help with their campaign. And one of the best campaigns I've ever worked was the President Barack Obama. And from that point on, that's how my life began in the campaign world and in the civil rights world. Uh, I am now 66 years old, and my parents, the late Eugene and Marie Bennett, were Bell's Bondsmans in the city of Danville. Uh, it was very unheard of to see a, a black couple being Bell's Bondsmen who would go out and just bond out all of the demonstrators as they would go to jail for demonstrating. They would bail them out and they would go right back out into the streets and continue the protest. It was um, enlightening for me because I was just eight, nine years old, and I always had to attend the mass meetings around the city with my parents. And most of the mass meetings were at High Street Baptist Church, where I am a member as of today. And I, it was just to, as a child, to sit there and listen, and then to hear all of my aunts and my grandparents, and everybody was so happy when I was hearing them say, oh, Dr. Martin Luther King is coming to Danville. And as a kid, I didn't know who Martin Luther King, but hanging out with my parents and my grandparents, that's when I found out exactly who he was and what he was doing when coming to Danville. So after that, I started listening and I started learning all about the Danville Civil Rights Movement. But I also realized as a kid, when I went to the movie theater, was the Rialto downtown, I couldn't sit in the main lobby of the theater. I had to go to the balcony. I didn't understand that I had to go to the black Broadnax YMCA, but I couldn't go to the new YMCA on Main Street. I really couldn't understand that I loved the, ch the cheeseburgers at Woolworth, but I couldn't eat up front. I had to go to the back. There was a cafe on South Main Street that had two different sides, one side for blacks and one side for whites. Well, when I wanted a hot dog, I would just walk into the cafe and I couldn't realize that I wouldn't be waited on unless I had gone to the opposite side. Those are the things I grew up in. And what really did it, I always wanted to be a dancer. I always loved to dance. My mother took me to the Ann Boyer Dance Academy on Watson Street. I was in the sixth grade. And I was told that day I could not be a part of the academy and couldn't join because of the color of my skin. That's when I realized it's a problem in this city 
and we're not accepted. And I was start to realize what the Civil Rights Movement was all about. And that is the reason, uh, one of the reasons I, I left Danville in 1980 and with no intentions of moving back. And after I retired, I moved back to Danville three years ago and the next thing I knew, I was president of the NAACP. And people walk up to me and said, Tommy Bennett, we've seen you on TV with Jesse Jackson. You brought the Reverend Jesse Jackson to Danville to dedicate the Martin Luther King Bridge. We've seen you in Selma walking across the Pettus Bridge. We've seen you on the Oprah Show. We've seen you on TV One with Roland. Why don't you run for NAACP president? You, we need a person like you who would speak up for the people. And I said, no, I don't have any intentions. I just want to retire, relax. I'm just here to drop off a few things because I'm moving to Key West, Florida. And guess what? I guess devil is Key West, Florida because I'm here and I, and I am president of the NAACP. I am on the board here at the museum. One of the famous, one of the best exhibits in the world in this museum. Everything is really, really, it's really important here and there's a lot of history in this museum. But the civil rights part of the museum will enlighten you and give you the history of the civil rights movement. From the time I've always have gone to church with my parents to Bishop Campbell. And when I did the history, I found out how Bishop Campbell was beaten, how his wife was washed uh, with the fire hoses under cars, and at the time she was pregnant. When the chief of police kicked in the door at High Street, when the pastor was arrested and was taken out of his, out of his, out the, his bathtub and was not even given a chance to put clothes on, he had to grab his wife's robe and was arrested. It was things like that that you will find in this museum. You will see pictures. You will see, it's one of the best exhibits I have ever seen.